Our mission is to take care of those who cannot take care of themselves. And there's nothing more noble than that. I work at Gateways Hospital and Mental Health Center. I am the Chief Nursing Officer here at Gateways. I received a call early in the morning from a member of the outreach team that they have found my son. Uh, he was in California. He was in the hospital. He was safe. And he was getting medication to treat his mental illness. We clearly have our own, you know, huge homeless population, but we also get people from all over the United States and all over the world. That when they picked him up off of the street, that he was in very poor shape. And uh, she explained uh, the role of her team and then how Gateways was going to be able to help him recover. Um, Matthew came to us originally in late April, I believe, and he was living homeless on the streets. We were shocked. To we, say didn't, the least. we were crying. We didn't, we yeah. didn't know at that point whether he, he was alive. Yeah. Um, so it was a tremendous, it's, it was such a tremendous feeling to hear that he, that he was there and that somebody cared enough to actually pick him up. How out of all the people that are there, homeless, yeah. did they choose him? He was out in the community making gun gestures, yelling about the police kidnapping him, um, really had some, some, some pretty significant paranoia about his situation, um, so much so that it was becoming disruptive in the community. I think that being in gateways for the length of time that he was with the care from the doctors and the medication that they were able to give him has helped heal him and heal his mind. As we were navigating through the court process and talking about resources and what conservatorship was going to look like, um, Matthew finally agreed to allow us to contact his family. And Matt called and he said, hey, um, you think I can come home? And that was like, wow. And then, and then all the plans went in place. And he said, you can pick me up at eight o'clock tonight. He said, I want to celebrate one last day of being homeless. From there, um, Matthew was conserved and he was reunited with his family. Even if we can work on it in our own little way to help educate other people, that it is a brain condition that he has no longer living on the streets and um, suffering in a way that he wasn't even truly aware of. He does not have control over it. Medication can help it, uh, but it's very complex, this illness that he has. And from what I understand, he's doing very well and his family is so happy to have him. When we work with the folks at Gateway and with the home team, they're not in, they're not they're doing this because they've got a passion um, and I think the more passionate you can be about what you do the more successful you are we are here to stay we are gateways continue to grow tremendously in the next number of years on giving Tuesday please give what you can to support gateways hospital and the thousand of patients throughout the greater Los Angeles area that we help every year Please help support Gateways Hospital at gatewayshospital.org. And thank you so much for your generosity. The secret he hides again wins the fight.